Hello? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Fine. Are fine, you fine. Ah? <laughs> A little what? A little hard and, and warm. Oh, yes, yes, it's uh, very, very, very hot. Is it, is it raining near your house? Yes, it's raining now. Oh, okay, that's why, probably. Okay, uh, but probably in a couple of minutes, it's going to be, uh, what? Probably it's going to be very, very delicious, you know, it's going to be very cool and fresh. Today begins the, how is it, the season, hurricane, Roma. Hoy empieza la temporada de tornados. Oh, really? Oh, really. Oh, my God, really? That's, uh, that's not a good idea. <laughs> no, it's not good news. No, not good uh, news. Especially, well, here in San Salvador, it's, it's complicated. Yes. Yeah. Very complicated. Yes, very complicated, especially in some uh, in some areas in San Salvador, right? Yes, right. Some streets. Uh, yeah, there is there is flooding. They huh? They flood. Flooding. Uh huh. Yes, that's uh. Well, like like you said, right? It's not really good. No, okay, no, so this is the beginning. Okay, um, how was the day? Hello. <laughs> uh, good evening. Good. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Wow, very nice. And it's been a little bit a uh, hot day. But, yes. but I mean, it's okay. It's okay. okay. So I guess it's, uh, how can I tell this? Uh, it's it's a, like a normal day, right? It's a normal day with uh, a lot of work, but in hot sometimes, but nice. Okay. Okay, very good. Now, how are we doing here? Just, uh, good night, hey, good evening. Let me check. I mean, it's no loading. I need to. Um, wait, it's a little bit slow because. Uh, to get the platform, but it's going to be here in a minute. Loading, 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 loading. The online here. Finally, we got it. Okay, good. Let me read the chat to say. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, remember yesterday we were talking about the, in the video, they were talking about the pronunciation and intonation of the yes, no questions up and information questions go down. Okay, so in this case we have, uh, in this lesson, participants will listen to a TV show. This is a listening, okay, a TV show where they have to pay attention to details about the contestants, okay? What, uh, what's contestants? Contestants are the people that participate, okay, in a competition event, okay? So it can be a program on TV, okay? Uh, and there are different different areas, okay, in which they participate. Now, first, we're going to listen. And after, we're going to check the answers and questions, the questions and answers. Listen to four people. Let's check the sound. On a TV game show, three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, Let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. <laughs> okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, easy, nice to listen to or so-so? Now listen again. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? 
Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. <laughs> okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, and then if you see here, the, the majority of the questions go for what kind of music, what kind of movies, what kind of TV programs, programs, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, what kind of music does John like? What kind of movies does John like? Okay, this is, all of them are what kind, what type, what class, okay? The general question is, what type of uh, music do you like? What class of music? Classical. Classical. Uh -huh. like classical music, pop music, jazz and rock, okay? Then, uh, or movies. This uh, question uh -huh, are focused on movies, music, TV programs, and that's it, basically. Okay, do you have the information? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. what kind of music does Bill like? Classical. 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 So the first one is classical music for Bill. Trill. What kind of movies Trill. does Bill like? Thrillers. 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 Okay, like thrillers, thrillers, classical music, thrillers. And the program? New, new programs. New programs. New programs. New programs. New programs. Okay. What yes. 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 This is John, right? This is John. Yeah, that's right. And John? Western. There. Movies? He likes Western. 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 John, John Wayne. Bonanza, right? Western. Talk shows. Talk shows. Talk shows. Talk shows. What about Tony now? Rock. 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 He likes rock. Okay, what kind of music? He likes like rock. And Tony likes horror films. Horror films. Horror, horror films. Horror films. Horror film. And what kind of TV program does Tony like? Game, game, game show. Game show. And what? last but not least, oh no, 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 there are two more. Linda. No, it's Linda. What? Yeah. Pop. 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 Pop music. Pop, pop music. Pop music. It's the one who likes pop music. Uh, what kind of movies? Horror, horror films. Horror films. Horror, films. Films. horror, horror films. films. And what kind of TV program does Linda like? Talk shows. Talk shows and game shows. Game shows. Game shows. Talk shows and game shows. Talk shows and game shows. The last one. The last one. Talk shows and game shows. Okay, so we're there. No, we're not missing anything. No. Okay, one, thrillers, classical thrillers, news programs, jazz, westerns, talk shows, rock, horror films, horror. and game shows. Then we have pop, horror films, and we also have talk shows and game shows. Then, congratulations, people. Okay. Esta nota sí la voy a hacer. Okay. 25 out of 25. So you have another 10. Very good. No problem with the information and the listen. Okay, good. 
questions? Okay. Oh, by the way, it say who's my date? Do you like rap? Okay. So who do you think that it would be a good take for Linda? Bill? Tony. Tony. Or John or Tony? Tony. Tony? Okay, Linda likes Tony. horror films and talk shows and game shows. And Tony likes game shows, uh, horror films, and rock. But Linda likes. Oh. Okay, and who's the other one? John, Western, Jazz. Okay, and there, guys, news program, thrillers, and classical. Yes, the best option, the best stake, the best stake for Linda is Tony. Okay, good. For you, Eugenia, who would be the one? Tony, <laughs> Bill, or or John? I think uh, with uh, that few questions, uh -huh. you can say. Ah, yes. You can take it. <laughs> you can, you, you, know, you, you don't have a take, but uh, yes. you, 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 just about, more, for example, uh, in my case, Linda, let me see, Linda has a pop, I like pop. Horror films, mm -hmm. I don't like horror films. And, and talk shows and game shows, yes. Okay, <laughs> probably. Uh, you can be a. Yeah, pro Linda has an opportunity with me. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> now Linda say that he don't like jazz and classical music. That uh -huh. leave out uh, John and Bill. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's correct. Okay. Yes, I like. I like thrillers, but no horror. Film, <laughs> not too much. Okay. Good. So then uh, this is your example, you know, how you can also uh, define, okay, how we can also select friends, uh, how we can select also a, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, a wife, okay, according to the things that we have in common, right? For example, there are some things that we can have in common, some others that are not possible, and there will always be differences, right? It's not yes. possible. It's not possible to have everything match perfectly, right? There are some. There are sometimes uh, differences. Okay, and, and like you said, Eugenia, in this one is only three questions. It's difficult. Right? It's difficult to say. So that's yes. what it says. Who's my date? Okay, date in this case is when you are going out or when you're planning to go out with a man or with a woman with the intention that have for example you know a closer relationship right probably you are friends and probably you want to be boyfriend and girlfriend okay so that is a date okay when you go to the doctor then you have an appointment okay a, if it is only a friend, then you say you go out. Okay, I go out with a friend. She's a very nice woman. That's it, only friend. Uh, if I say, for example, I am dating a very nice woman, then she's probably my girlfriend. Okay, so that's why it says who's my date. Yeah. Yes, it's different, right? Now, no questions in this, uh, at this point? No? Okay, good. So then, uh, Ernesto, could you please read this uh, object here in this lesson? In this <laughs> lesson, participants will listen to a conversation where rules for invitation is used when making plans. Okay, what does would mean? Mean is, uh, would is a auxiliary verb, right? It's a model, it's something that we use to make sentences more 
polite. Okay, for example, if I say, do you want, do you want some coffee? It, it's, a, it's a good action, but it's not very formal, right? And then it's, uh, let's say, somehow informal, okay? And then, uh, for example, a girl one that says, a, what is your, what would you like? Would you like some coffee? Is a more polite or courteous way to offer something. Okay, would you like a candy? Would you like some milk? Would you like a coffee? A, would you have a, would you like to talk to me? Okay, so these are wood is more polite, more educated. This is an invitation. So you're going to listen to this conversation. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to. But I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. In this lesson, participants would listen. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I okay, so that's the first one where it says, I have tickets. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Okay. This is a nice way to invite a person to go. Okay. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. Okay, thanks. I love to. Yes, very much, right? What time does it start? I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Okay, see, the girl is a little less formal. I say, do you want to? Well, she could say here, would you like to have dinner at 6? Okay, but you now she says, do you want to have dinner at six? And the man says, uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. I oh, like that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Like to. Okay. What is the meaning of the gate? What is the meaning of the gate? Uh, for example, this is the like the portón, right? The puerta. Uh, for example, when you go to the stadium, uh, they are gates. Son los portones grandes, right? So they say, let's meet at the gate. Before the match is around 7.30, let's meet at the gate. If you go, for example, to the Cuscatlan Stadium, there are three gates, I guess. Yes, three. Uno que está. Yes. Lado west, lado. Uno está uh, oriente y el otro está al poniente, right? So these are two gates. Y luego, para entrar al estadio, ya está el de, so, so, uh, for example, shadow, sombra, palco, en el. So those are gates. In the, also in the airports, in the airports you can find gates. Okay, you can find gates. Okay, any other one? Other vocabulary, other expression, no problem. Teacher. Yes. Es, 
when when we have to use to i would love to would you like to go oh when when the when the answer is short i, I would like to mm -hmm. i like to for example this is the short uh, sentence you say i like the long one would be uh, do you want to have dinner at six yes i like to have dinner at six but if you're going to use the short answer, you say, I like to. Okay, if it is more emphasis, then you're gonna say, I love to. Okay, for example, would you like to, uh, would you like to learn other languages? They say, I love to. Okay, I love I to love if to. I have time. Yeah. Okay, but if I don't have time and money, then it's difficult, okay, but I love to. Okay. The time of the time of the verb, the word, no, oh, no, that's uh, yes. It can the, the the tense, the tense of the verb can be. It depends on the context. In this case, I say love to. But if you're talking uh, about the past, for example, uh, did you did you go to uh, let me see, did you go to uh, El Teleferico here in El Salvador? Oh yes, I did. Did you like it? Yes, I loved. Okay, I loved it. Okay, or uh, did you did you enjoy going to the teleferico? Yes, I love I love going to the teleferico. Okay, so in this case would be when you use in the present form the verb, then you're gonna use to. Simple present or verb? Yes, present. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. But I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, see you there. Okay, do you have any other questions about this? Uh, I mean, vocabulary, right? Great. So, do you want to have No, there's pretty okay? Now, remember here when I use, for example, would you like to study? Okay, uh, would you play, would you play, uh, let's say, would you play Monopoly uh, with me tonight? Uh, would you go to the movies, uh, to the cinema with me on week, uh, on Saturday? Uh, what else? I mean, just uh, think about invitations, okay, that you, that you can make, right? When you want to invite a person, uh, if you want to invite a friend to the beach, you, you tell your friend, hey, uh, Stephanie, would you like to go to the beach this weekend? Okay, uh, would you like to play volleyball this weekend? Would you like to play soccer this weekend? Uh, would you like to have a barbecue this weekend? Okay, uh, would you like to come to my house and help me cook this weekend or tomorrow or this evening? So you can use this expression, do you want or would you like to invite per a person to do something, right? To do something or to go with you somewhere or just think about the invitation. Uh, we will see the structure and then we will move to the, to the practice. So here we have, by the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of wood in questions and answers. Let's watch the video and after we have the practice. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to?
Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus two plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus would plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb, comma, but plus. Examples. I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. I would love to go plus complement examples. Parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Okay, so then we have I would like to go to her new house, but I don't have time. Okay, I would like to go to her house, but I don't know where it is. I would love to go to her house, to her new house, but it is too far. Okay, but it is too far. Oh, but I don't have a car. But I don't have, uh, a, let's say the the address. Okay, I will I would love to go to her house, but she has not invited. Okay, you see, it's, it's too late. But it's too late. Uh -huh. And then here say, I love to go to her house, but I can't. Okay, this is only giving the, the information that is not possible, right? But you can also give some reasons, okay, reasons of why. House, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. But I Okay, now this one. Okay, now uh, before before we continue, I'm going to take the picture for the attendance and after we, we go on. Okay, let me see, here we go. Um, I'll take this one more take. And this is the last one. I need to get all the names. Okay, people, thank you very much. Okay, then I uh, would like you to tell me, for example, some, uh, some things that you would like to do. And saying, for example, that. Uh, for example, I would like to I don't know. I would like to get another job, but I can't. Okay. I would like to study French, but I can't. Okay. So then uh, what are some other things that you would like to do? Okay. Think about one sentence. Piensen en un par de oraciones, escríbanlas, okay, I would like to, something like, 
it's like you know like a dream right probably that that you probably have okay it's not something real in this moment you know but it can happen right okay volunteers Volunteers, volunteers. Ole! Okay, Andrea. And I, I would like to sleep more time in the morning, but I need to go to my job. Okay, I would like to sleep, to sleep all morning, but I have, what, but you say what? But I have to, Go to my job. I have to go to my job. Okay, very good. That's nice. Okay, good. Now, another one. Who else wants to speak and participate? I would like to go to the party, but I can't. Okay, I would like to go to the party, but I can. Okay, good. No, I, I, like I, 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 I don't have money, right? Uh huh. What else? Who else? Yes, uh, Eugenia? I would like to play the piano, but I never took a lesson. Okay, uh, I would like to play the piano, but I never took lessons, okay, or a lesson. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. Harrison. Uh, I would like to go to the park, I can. Uh, I would like to go to the party, but I can't. Okay, okay good, thank you. More. I would like to buy a Ferrari, but I don't have any money. Okay. Uh, I would like to buy a Ferrari, but they don't have the color that I want. Okay. <laughs> because of that. Okay. Good sentence. Fatima. Okay. I would like to go to the gym, but uh, it's raining. <laughs> okay. Good. But it's raining. Nice. Okay, good. Another one? Yes, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Money. Harrison, you have a hand up. Oh, sorry. Okay. I will buy a a job, but I don't have money. Okay, that's no problem. Okay, good. Who else? Aha, uh -huh, Ernesto. Mm, I would like to have a party, but I have to practice uh, social distance. Okay, social? Uh, I would like to have a party, but I need to have social distance. Okay, good. And who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else wants to participate? Hey, Anna, Anna, you haven't said anything today. Anna Guerra. Hello, teacher. Hello. Why so quiet? Uh, it's raining here. <laughs> okay. What would you like what would you like to do? What is something that you would like? I would like to take my dinner, but I stay in my English class. <laughs> okay. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, good. Well we can but but we have some water. Okay, that's enough. Okay, good. Esmeralda. What about you? What would you like? Something that you would like. I would like to. Es verdad, como que me gustaría ser. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ser sí, o no. ser, tener o, o hacer. Por ejemplo, I would like to go shopping 
week. <laughs> I would like to. But, uh, shopping. I would like to go shopping this weekend. Uh huh. <laughs> but uh, I can money. <laughs> but I don't. But I can. I don't have money. Don't okay. Have no. money. Uh, use your credit card. Yo, yo eso hago cuando no tengo dinero con la tarjeta de crédito. Después ando afligido, después ando afligido para acá. Después estoy trabajando hasta las 11, 12 de la noche dando clases. No. Ok. Ok, yes, but you know, some people do it, right? But it's good, you know, it's just a credit card, no problem. Ok, uh, I would like to go shopping, but I can't. Ok, but I can't. I have to. I don't have money, or I have to work, or I have to do some other. Okay, who else? One more. Harold, oh, Herbert, Herbert, Herbert. Well, something that you would like. I would like to eat five pupusas, but I am night. <laughs> yes, that's correct. I would like to eat five pupusas, but I'm on a diet. Yeah, me too. I'm on a diet. But I will eat at five pupusas, no problem. Harold. How about you? What was the question? Something that you would like. Something that you would like. Do sentences using I would like to, but. My bad, um, I don't have a car. I would like. I will like to. Um, play saxophone, but I I know have a money. Okay, I would like to play the saxophone, but I yeah. don't have money to buy a saxophone. Money. Okay. Okay. Uh, Bernardo, what is something that you want? Hello. Uh, I would like to travel to Spain. But I can because I don't have the money for the airplane ticket. For the airplane ticket. Dora, Dora Mary. Uh, <laughs> okay, Fatima Virginia, good. I would like to go to another country. I would like to ask, uh huh, okay, good. Perfect. This is uh, Fatima said that she would like to cook, but she's lazy. Okay, that's nice. Ingrid. I would like to go to a concert, but I can't. But I can. Okay, Brian. I would like uh, a sleep. A sleep a sleeping or a sleep? I would like to sleep. I would like to sleep uh, until late tomorrow. But I, but I came because right. I, 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 I have to work tomorrow. Okay. Yes. That's that's a reality. A cruel reality. A uh, Astrid. Yes. Uh, I would like to go dancing this this weekend. But I don't have time. Okay, very good. I would like to go dancing this weekend, but I don't have time. And Ana Victoria? Um, I would like um, music salsa. I would like to listen. I would like to listen. Or the yeah, music, music salsa. Or oh, I would like to dance, music, uh, salsa music, okay. I would like to dance salsa. Oh my God, listen to this. I would like to drive a car, but my last license is expired. Okay, don't drive, it's dangerous because the police might stop you. Okay. 
Good. What else? One more. Una más. And we leave. One more, one more. Help me. Uh, oh, Brian. Brian, did you tell me yours, Brian? Yes. Chair. Oh, Herman. Herman is here. Okay. Yes. I would like to go to the beach this weekend. Okay. I would like to go to the beach this weekend. Okay. Then if you see, for example, when we are using, I would like, sounds like a wish. Okay, like a desire. Okay. Uh, suena, suena a deseo. Okay, something that I want. So I would like to go to the beach, but not like something that you're going to do, right? If you say, I'm going to go to the beach this uh, weekend, it's a plan. I would like to go to the beach is something that it's only that, okay, but you can't. For some reason, it's not possible to have it this weekend. And the other right. question is? Contraction. I'd. For example, what, uh, would you like to go? And you can also use, for example, the, the information question. Uh, Ernesto, what would you like to to do if you had a million dollars? <laughs> I would like to try to travel around the world. Okay, I would like to travel around the world, okay? To spend all that money, okay? Not, uh, not all uh, the money, but... <laughs> yeah. But half of it. Uh, <laughs> a lot of it. Okay. Okay, good. Ana Guerra, what would you like to do if you have all the free time in the world? Mm. Repeat, please, teacher. What would you like to do if you had all the free time in the world? All free time yes. in the world. Uh -huh. If you have all of the time in the world. <laughs> Sleep. Oh. Sleep, teacher. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> rest. Rest. Okay. Sleep. Rest, <laughs> rest, 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 and sleep. All right, good. Yes. No problem. And what about you, Eugenia? What would you like to do? If, uh, let's say, uh, how would you like to do if, let me see. Is if you had a, a good job, a better job. Um, I think it's uh, who have a, a better job. Mm -hmm. uh, I have more time to spend with my with my kids. Okay, yes, that's a good job. So, right. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. uh, Edwin. Um, are you married? Uh, no, I'm single. Okay. What would you like to, what would you do if you were married? <laughs> I would like to travel with my wife. All right, very good. I would like to travel with my wife. Okay, good. Okay, so then uh, if you see this one, you can use what also the yes, no, I mean the information question, or you can use a simple yes, no question. Would you like to go out? Invitation, right? This is um, the question here in the, in the video is invitation. What would you like to do is something like, you know, like uh, for example, a wish, a desire, something that you would do if you have other conditions okay but in this case is invitation okay what would you like to do and then you say i like to do this i like to do that but sometimes we can't all right 
Uh, more questions? Any other questions? No, for the moment. Not at all. Okay. Not. Then. Okay, so here we have uh, Dora. Would you please read the instructions here? Let's read the following invitation. Okay. Read the following invitation and select the best responses. Okay, good. Now, uh, Eneida, read the first uh, question, please. Or this one I have have tickets to the basketball game on Saturday or you like to go okay very good say I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday would you like to go answer people yes I, I'd love to yes I love to. Okay, good. Then, uh, Astrid, can you read the second question? What would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Okay. The answer, people? I like to, but I have a meeting. I like to, but I have a meeting. Okay, fine. Uh, Ana Rebecca, what about the number three? Would you please read number three? I like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend. All right, thank you. And the possible answer? Yes, I really like. To yes, go. I really like to go. Yes, I really like to, I really go. Like to go. Good. Okay, now we have person number four. To a soccer match would next. you like to go a soccer match next Sunday okay yes yes I love I love to thank you I love to thank you yes I love to thank you okay uh, Herbert number five Okay, he lost Herbert. Would, yes, he disappeared. I would like. Uh huh. Would you? Would you? Would you like to watch a movie on Friday? Friday night. Okay. okay, and then we have. I like. I like to, but I, I have, have to, to work. work. I like to, but I. Okay. There you go. So we have another tent. Okay, so here we have this is a, to give a context, right? I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? For example, you can say um, there is a very nice movie on Netflix. Uh, would you like to come to my house and watch uh, the movie? Okay. Would you like to come to my house and watch uh, Netflix, uh, let's say a Netflix movie? Uh, what is another one? Uh, I have a... Uh, it's my birthday this weekend. Okay, would you like to 
come and have uh, dinner in my house. So you have a, you can use an expression, you can use a, a context, right, for the sentence, and after you can make the invitation. And the other one is, uh, would you like to, for example, in the first one, it says, I have ticket, because if you only say, would you like to go, say, where? Would you like to come, where? Would you like to see? What? Uh, would you like to stay where? Okay, for example, you can use here the concept, right? I have, uh, I have a new motorcycle. Okay, would you like, no. would you like to, let's say to ride? Would you like to ride it? Okay, would you like to ride it? Sería montarla, right? Motorcycle, yes, I would. And these are just no questions. What else? Now the next one is uh, is the reading. To say in this lesson, participants will read an article about a singer scanning for uh, important information will be developed. What is a scanning? What is a scanning? Uh-huh. And when we use it in reading, y cuando lo usamos en la lectura, ¿qué es scanning? Um, un análisis. Mm, no. Revisar. Revisar. Revisarlo. More or less. You know, like, uh, for example, if um, how can I tell this? If I if I give you looking for, and uh -huh, it's like research, the search, right? Search for information. Uh -huh, look for information. Mm -hmm. uh, look for a specific specific information in a text. For example, if you read uh, the biography, if you read a biography and they said, okay, uh, when was the person born? And then you have to, you have to go to the reading and say, okay, uh, yes, uh, Abraham Lincoln was born in, and then you find the information, that information is specific, right? Uh, for example, where did he study? Okay, Abraham Lincoln studied in. Okay, when was Abraham Lincoln president of the United States? Uh, he was, and then you go to the reading to look for, okay, that specific information. Sometimes in the exam, in the exam, we do that, right? We sometimes uh, try to find information without reading the test completely. An example here. Where's the reading? Right here. Cristina Aguilera. Okay, so we have the information about Cristina Aguilera here, right? And you can see, for example, the, the, the information that we have. For example, there is an introduction. Okay, this is the introduction for the, for the topic. And then after that, we have the timeline and some important events in her life. Okay, some important moments, right? When she was born, uh, the first appearance on TV, the, for example, the Christina on TV in Disney's new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears, uh, Christina's records, uh, Chris, uh, when she sang a song uh, for the Milan movie, 
uh, what else? Uh, her first big hit, for example, uh, along with other singers. And then if I said, okay, when did Christina Aguilera uh, send a song for Disney movie, New Land? When? Then? In what year? In what year? In what year did she sing a song for the movie Milan? Okay. In 1998. In 1998, correct, right? And then you go. You don't have to read. No tenemos que leerlo todo, right? We only have to look for the specific information, right? And then you go like, ah, oh, this is Milena movie. And so we think. Pensamos en palabras clave, right? The question is, when did Cristina Aguilera sing a song for the Disney movie Mulan? Okay, um, movie, 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 Mulan, Mulan, and then you start looking, okay, here, Mulan. Uh, Cristina sing a song, okay, good, 1998. Okay, that is scanning, okay? Scanning is to search, look for uh, information. This is a... Uh, Reading strategies. Okay. Eh, estos son los cursos que dan para lecturas rápidas. Son estas estrategias de lectura, como leer entre líneas. Okay. Por ejemplo, cómo eh, entender vocabulario a través del contexto. Okay. For example, if you want to see this one, records. What is records? Records. Mm -hmm. Okay, like a comp, like a disc, right? Like an album. Uh huh. Exactly the records, but the records in this case are the the acetatos, right? The records, because after those we have the compact disc, the CDs, right? So that was the other one. So then, before that one, she had also records. Okay, Christina records. All I want to do with Keiso. Uh, and Nakanishi, okay, Japanese pop star, and she tours Japan. Uh, a question. So when we say record, we refer to long play? LP. It could be an yes. LP record, yes. An LP long play or a 45 record. The 45 was the 45 revolution. Mm -hmm. uh, the, yes. The, the little small, one. The small one. I had a small one. Yeah, the little one. Yes. And the LP was okay. the big one, and it was 33 Revolution. Ay, aquí hay un montón de millennials que no saben de qué estoy hablando. Right? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Ah, yes. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién sabe que era un disco de 45 revoluciones? Ay. No, el caja. Me. Oh, wow. Me. 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 Si Ana, si Ana me. Rebeca me lo dice, nos vamos. Si no, aquí nos quedamos. No, ¿Ah? no lo sabía. Okay. A, hasta ahorita que lo dijo. Yes, okay. Entonces, ese era un disco de 45 revoluciones y que se tocaba en, una, en un tocadisco, right? Para ronda. Yes. Con aguja, right? Pero sonaba yes. activo. Ok, en The Long Play tenía cuántas canciones? 6 y 6, algo así, right? Depende, like, depende de él. 6, 7. Five sometimes for the big ones. On both, a cada lado, on both sides, right? Entonces era un LP, era un long play. Se lo ponía, eran cinco canciones. The big, teacher, para... looking, looking. The big this black. Ah? ah look, look, teacher. Yes? Yes. <laughs> Where? Oh, It yeah. Is. Harold, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. That's his oh, story. <laughs> I have one too. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's a, that's a record. That's an LP, right? Yes. Which one is that? It's um, artist gymnastic. Gymnastic. Okay, good. Uh, All right. It's a good. more more disc. Uh... More records. Ah. You have more yes. records. Those were the records. Yes. Those are the ah, play, the LPs. Wow. Como 20. Wow, that's great. Those are those are the collection, yeah. Yes. Okay, yes, you can sell those. Okay, you see? Now, 
Gracias a Harold, nos vamos a ir. ¿no? Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Okay, people, have a very good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Good night, good night. Good night, good night. 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 Good night.